Hi everyone, it's me, Seth Rudetsky. Ethic last name, we're gonna discuss that ethic last name in one second. It's Eden Espinosa, who's a brand new CD, which I would say is Broadway tunes with a sort of a sass pop flair. I would say that. Brava. Okay, um, she does, by the way, I'm not that. That's the first song. Now, what possessed you to do that song when that's the one song that I'm irritated about because it has a low E? Um, I just wanted to do one of the songs that not a lot of Alpha Buzz have put on their album before. I didn't want to do Defying Gravity. I wanted to do one that made sense out of context. What about Thank Goodness? Well, thank <laughs> goodness! <laughs> and cut. Okay, so, so many amazing songs on this. You've got to get, we have a thousand things to say. First of all, Eden began in California working for Disney World. Disneyland. Disneyland. You wanted the role of Belle, right? Which, I was too young. And what was another reason why you didn't get Belle? Was it a um, Belle? No. What was the one role that you wanted, the waspy role? Wasn't it Belle or was it Ariel? I ended up doing Ariel, so but you at wanted first, to be Belle. I was I, Pocahontas. Okay, she was Pocahontas. It because was Stephanie who was Belle. Stephanie, Stephanie Block. Block without the J. But as far as I know, Eden <laughs> Espinosa, yes. you didn't get the role of Belle because of Espinosa. You flat out admitted because you were Mexicana. And they were no. like, no. During the cruise. I've, I've never auditioned for Belle. And the, what was the white, the waspy role you wanted to play where they were like, not with that last name, sister? Literally on the Broadway cruise there was, the summer. There was Ariel, no, there was Ariel Broadway. I thought the reason they made you Pocahontas is because you're an ethnic ass. No. For real Yeah. What do you mean? But I remember talking about I would Hollywood never, movies. they wouldn't put me in those roles because I looked too ethnic, even though my skin is whiter than most. Ah, so you looked too people. ethnic? Yeah. Wait a minute. It was an hour and a half I trying to get her to admit that she was too ethnic. She's like, absolutely not. I was too ethnic. You literally gave the exact answer I just said. I oh my God. Because they weren't pulling teeth me anything to you. She but was. it wasn't because of my last name. But it's the same thing. Anyway, <laughs> she went, uh, you, you witnessed that. So she could not be Belle because she was too ethnic. Last name or Fache. The point is, they made you Pocahontas because Pocahontas is, I guess, Mexican. Okay, so we're gonna, you're so busted. Now, by the way, it has nothing to do with this headshot. I. That had no reason why I shouldn't get. So let us discuss this. Now, first of all, I saw Anne Hathaway as Fontaine and she also had the same hairstyle. Yeah. Now, what's your excuse? I. <laughs> oh my God. And, and by the way. Listen, the pixie cut was in. Okay, now, the pixie cut, at least she has hair here. She decided for another headshot to simply not have any hair. Okay, the mirror has two faces, the Eden has simply a face. My <laughs> first ones. But what, if you're your first ones, why were you also 52? I, I, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I look older than I do now. Too much makeup, just too much giving makeup, too you hair. Rue McClanahan, <laughs> feathered, <laughs> feathered. Girls. Okay. For real. Oh, I'm sweating the conversation she's because so, the denial but she's was so earnest. Dear, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's one of the things to say. Okay. Um, first, we're gonna discuss. Um, I'm Wicked sweating for one too. Second. I know, I'm totally sweating. So she was an Alpha Burr in Wicked, and they're very big on like certain riffs are allowed, certain riffs are not allowed. Now, first of all, ah, uh, what's your flexibility there? Um, I could do the ones that Adina had already done because there wasn't a lot of alpha. It was just me and Adina back then. I mean, oh, I Stephanie remember. had done I go, it. I used to play piano for that show off and I'd walk backstage and you'd be like watching American Idol because you were the standby. Yeah. A lot of city backstage. Yeah. So it was just you and Adina at first. Yes. So then so, when I would bust out on my own on something, then I would get like, oh, you can't do, I would, there were certain things I couldn't do. However, there was a riff that you developed in The Wizard and I. Now, first of all, when did you first haul it out and how much hold did you get in it first for The Wizard the, and I? This, I got in trouble. I mean, Stephen Arimas came into the room, gave me a no, like you have to make sure that it's okay with me before you do your own riffs. And I said, okay. But okay. I would, because I was a standby, I'd just be in my dressing room and I wanted to keep my, my vocals up in case I had to go on. And so I would just practice along with the show. And so with your I would, own riffs? With my own riffs. And then what happened? Someone overheard it and was like, put it in the show? No, I just did it. I had big, big ones. I don't know what I was thinking. I would, I didn't think, I didn't, I, I don't know what I was thinking. So how did the, the riff that you got in trouble for then become the actual way the song goes? When did that transition happen? He gave me permission, like, cause I did, a, that wasn't the only one, that's the thing. I did a lot of other ones and he was like, no, 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 this one you can, this one you can keep in. Not only was she allowed to keep it in, it is now the riff. Now people do it all the time and, um, the uh, supervisor on Broadway, Dominic, said like they teach it now. Is like an here's an alternate. Is if it you called want. the Eden? I don't know if it's called the Eden. It better be. So this is now the riff that Eden first made up, got in trouble for, and now gets to do. Just like I'm not ethnic, I am ethnic. There's so much denial with this Lily and the teeth pulling. Okay, so here we go. 
Us. A celebration throughout Oz that's all to do. You still got it. <clears throat> However, we were working on the East Jabana competition together, me and Eads, and she had an audition for Les Mis. And they called her in for, go. Eponine and Cosette. So I was like, okay, Eden, it's not gonna happen. I was like, you are Fontaine. And she's like, oh, and didn't you ask to go I in I did Fontaine? ask to go in and, and they said I was too young. Did you not show them your picture, the I baldness? <laughs> and she doesn't have any teeth either, you can't tell. Them. Okay, so <laughs> the point is they were not Cut to you went to the audition, and then what happened? And then I sang my own song, which I sang uh, someone else's story from Chess. Brava. And Cameron McIntosh said to me, well, you're really a Fontaine, aren't you? Now, why am I not a famous producer when I know everything? So, of course, she wound up getting cast Fontaine, and then turns out it didn't even work out. So she actually got the part, couldn't do it. Now, here's the inside scoop. <clears throat> if you don't know that, um, <clears throat> I'm talking to Pat on the phone. I dreamed a dream normally did not move. It used to go, as I turn your dream to shame. So like wait, um, Eponine goes, um, but he never saw me there. You know, on Monday morning. Yes. So it didn't move. Shame. But the orchestra would go, shame. So Patty was in rehearsal and she said she fucked herself. How am I gonna sell this song? So we thought that. And she said, what about if I go up with the I love that. She goes, what about if I go up with the orchestra? And that's why it goes, shame. Very exciting. However, if Eden, she was Cassis Fontaine, if she had played the role, this is how. I would have told her to perform it if I had been conducting Les Mis. It never happened, but now it will happen for Obsessed. <clears throat> <clears throat> the way it should go. Uh, she would do it from, um, but the tigers, what key is that? But the tigers, uh, but the tigers, here it is, here we go. And, but the tigers come at night With their voices soft as thunder As they tear your hope apart Directed by this, okay, I got to go.